Uh, more than a million Americans rationing insulin due to the high cost of the drug. Unable to afford the drug, an increasing number of uninsured and black Americans... Do they really have to go race there? Uh, ration diabetes drugs, putting their lives at risk. Insulin rights activists and those who have who live with diabetes are calling for meaningful action to address the high cost of insulin in the United States, as a new study shows the widespread habit of rationing the life-saving medicine. Diabetes is currently the seventh leading cause of death in the U.S., though a 2017 study suggests the number of Americans dying from diabetes is much higher due to diabetes frequently being overlooked in causes of death. Humans require insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, to regulate the glucose in their blood to live. A study produced on 18 October in the Annals of Internal Medicine by researchers at Harvard Medical University, the City University of New York's Hunter College and Public Citizen found that 1.3 million Americans rationed insulin due to the high cost of it in 2021. The staggering number represents an estimated 16.5% of the US population with diabetes. The study found that the insulin rationing was most commonly reported by those whose health insurance coverage and individuals under the age of 65 not, are not eligible for Medicare. Black insulin users were more likely to report rationing insulin at 23.2%. Holy crap. When, when did medicine become a race thing? Seriously? Angela Lautner of Kentucky has lived with type 1 diabetes for 22 years. I've been on Eli Lilly's Humalong insulin since 2000. Nothing has changed in that vial. Not how I use it. Nothing has changed except for the price, said Lautner. The instant, the very instant that I can't afford insulin, death is literally staring me in the face, and I would die within 24 hours or be in the emergency room on my way out without insulin. Every single human would. One vial of Humalong cost $21. American, 18 pounds in 1999, and have jumped to $332, $287, sorry, 287 pounds in 2019. Holy crap, that, sh that should have went down, not up. There is some real price gouging by Big Pharma there. Uh, the US lists the price of insulin, have, US lists prices for insulin have soared in recent decades, while list prices have remained relatively the same at a fraction of the U.S. list price in every other industrialized nation. Living in Kentucky, Lautner has struggled to garner political support for addressing high insulin costs and expressed frustration with legislators not including, not including the voices of those whose lives depend on it in developing legislation to solve the high cost issues. Insulin rationing, any person who is doing so is... What? Insulin rationing, any person who is doing so is living in a painful, horrible, non-productive life. Just imagine if someone was asking you to take one breath per minute and that's all you were allowed, because you can't afford the $100, uh, 86 pounds, that you would have to fork out if you were allowed to have oxygen for the next 59 minutes. That's insulin rationing. You're holding a, vi a vital hormone for life. Or you're withholding a vital hormone for life. The impact on the practice can be terrible. Janelle Lutkin of Dubeck County, Iowa, la lost her 32-year-old son Jesse, a type 1 diabetic, after he started rationing his insulin because he lost his job and with his health insurance and with it his health insurance and died in early 2018 from diabetic ketoacidosis. Without health insurance, Lutkin said over-the-counter insulin costs more than $1,000, 865 pounds a month, and that her son couldn't afford the high cost of healthcare coverage in the marketplace without a job and wasn't eligible for Medicaid coverage because his income from when he was working was too high. So, thank you for the super chat, Harry Dickshaft. Black Americans are at a very high risk of diabetes compared to others. It isn't a racial thing, but one in particular most affected. Okay, thank you for that. I appreciate you bringing that to my attention. Um, it would be it would probably be a possible it would probably be impossible to really know exactly all the harm that's been done with high insulin prices said Lutkin, who explained that individuals who ration insulin because of the cost if they do survive can still experience health impacts such as neuropathy or losing toes or feet it seems like i can't get through the legislators heads that we have to make sure everyone who needs insulin can get it not just people who have insurance or people on medicaid everybody the only way to do that is to get to the root of the problem, Big Pharma. No shit, Sherlock. I shouldn't have been able to hear that. I don't know why I did. Have I got that set up on the wrong? The... Yeah, no. Should not have been able to hear that. Uh, anyway. 
An estimated 1.4 million American adults aged between uh, age 20 or older and 187,000 children under the age of 20 have been diagnosed with type 1 diabetes and require insulin to live. Individuals with type 2 diabetes, which accounts, accounts for 90 to 95%, I was going for equates, I don't know why in my brain, of all diabetes diagnoses have varying needs of insulin interjections as their bodies can still produce insulin, while individuals with type 1 cannot produce it at all and require daily injections. Stephanie Arsenault of Utah was first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes at 6 years old, living with the, diabetes, with, living with the di disease for 34 years with her husband and son, who also has type 1 diabetes. I once added up the cost associated with having diabetes on about 40% of our income just to afford insulin. A way to test our blood sugar and the delivery method, all of that. It's not just affordable for us. It, sorry, it's just not affordable for us, she said. A lot of the time we rely on donations to get us through. We can't afford it at all. All right. Even with health insurance coverage, insulin still costs her and her husband a few hundred dollars every month. And the burden of the high costs have gotten worse in the past two decades since she moved out of her parents' home to live on her own. I had to cut back on things and make sacrifices my entire adult life, she said. When you're rationing, you're slowly killing yourself. When somebody is rationing, it's simply because the pharmaceutical companies are putting profits over patients' lives. She said she's been forced to underdose her insulin, skip testing because she couldn't afford the test strips, and eat less frequently to try and reduce the number of insulin injections that she needs. This is an issue of life and death, and also an issue of quality of life. Imagine someone telling you that you can't breathe. That's what it feels like when you don't have your insulin, when you know that you don't have enough, that dread and panic you feel knowing that you might die because you can't afford your insulin. Holy crap. Alright. I'll quickly run through the rumble. Um... Shade Chaser says, Insulin wasn't expensive until some politician and family decided to make money from it. White people get diabetes and are not insured. Being overweight is the issue. Okay. Well, they sell it cheaper. They sell it to other companies cheaper, and the US pays higher and subsidizes this. I don't think that's necessarily true. I think it's genuinely just price gouging, to be perfectly honest. Um, actually, what is insulin in Australia? I could have probably looked up that. Price of insulin in Australia. Hmm. Yeah, see, that that's just not... Okay, so insulin is eight times higher in the US compared to similar, econo similar economies. In 2018, the average price for insulin in the US was $98.70, uh, $98 compared to $6.94 here in Australia, $12 in Canada, and $7.52 by equivalency in the UK. So, all right, I'll run back through the YouTube chat because you guys are being nice and chatty. Thank you very much for that. <laughs> Everything is racist or race based now. Oh, God. Hello, Memento Mori. How are you doing? Need a prescription insurance when you're on Medicare? Okay. I found it in places like Walmart. It's a ton cheaper than a drugstore. Really? You can get it at a drugstore? Wow. Get rid of the patent and allow ger generics. Absolutely. How do you ration insulin? You just don't take it. That's the problem. You have a certain amount that you can inject over a certain period. You decide not to take those injections so that you can live longer. I pay thirty-five pounds for three months and get a five and get five prescription a week. Only good thing about the NHS in England. <laughs> Um, I think my lucky star is that even though I'm chronically unwell and disabled here in the UK, don't have to ration any of my life-saving meds and get prescriptions free. Hmm. Uh, we're eating way too many carbs and sugars in Western countries. I don't disagree with that. I do think that we probably need to move towards... Um, uh, like, don't, don't go full keto, but try and put more protein and stuff into your diets. Like, seriously. Nothing is free, other people pay for it. No, look, that is true. But at the same time, unless you, I mean, what, what are we really going to be talking about here? How the hell is it $98 in 2018 for the same vial that's able to be produced elsewhere for a smaller amount? There is always going to be 
someone that can pr produce it smarter, cheaper, faster. So no, as far as I'm concerned, patents on medicines after a certain period need to be revoked. They really do. So that they can be pro properly be produced and drive competition and drive down prices. Federal government needs to get out of bed with the insurance companies. <sighs> mm. And people moan here about prescription prices. Yeah, exactly. Fats and proteins? Yep. Good morning, Carter the Cat. How are you doing? Yeah, I can't say, I can't say I'm complaining. It's been quite a half-decent morning, so... Mind you, all I've really done is roll out of bed, start up the computer, and sit in front of you lovely folks, so... Um, Trump tried to bring insulin down to 35 bucks. Biden came in, cancelled at day one before it went into effect. Now Biden's implementing the same thing, but with his name. Oh, that's politics for you, isn't it, really? We've seen very similar things with um, some of the parties here where they've um, taken credit for things that the opposing party's done that hasn't really had any sort of an effect, let's be perfectly honest. Just about undid America. <laughs> hey, Fedorovsky, how are you doing? Girlfriend has a cat that was diabetic, used human insulin, but couldn't get the insurance discount. Ended up being cheaper to put the cat down, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. That really sucks. Nearly a tenner per prescription in England now. Prepaid certificate is the way to go. Would hate to pay the prices the US have to pay for medical care. Yeah. Not gonna lie. It's, it, it, it's quite disturbing. I mean, I look at these things where they send invoices and people are provided with copies of, like, um... Hospital bills and that sort of thing where they post them on the internet. Those bills are terrifying. Like, at some point, I really will actually sit down and go through one and explain the differences between America and Australia and exactly how... Um, how that really differs, because it is, it is quite amazing, to be perfectly honest. Hopefully this was funny, interesting, educational, or all of the above. You can find me on YouTube and Rumble at, at Aussie Overlord. And if you're interested, you can watch this video, this video, or you can subscribe here. As always, stay healthy, wealthy, and wise, and I will catch you on the flip side.